Now looking at the interior, as we mentioned earlier, we made a gain of about two inches in wheelbase, and what that does is it expanded our passenger volume by 2.4 cubic feet and increased our cargo volume by 0.9 cubic feet. We've actually made the car a little bit smaller on the outside, but increased the inside. And you can see from our competitors, and we've got the new Camry up here, we beat them on every metric. We've got more passenger volume, more rear legroom, and much more cargo volume. When it comes to seat comfort on the inside, we've, think, we've taken a few measures to make sure the ride is comfortable. We've improved the bolstering up in the shoulder area. We've used high accuracy urethane and, and different density foams. We've also extended the armrests in the rear to make the rear passengers a little more comfortable. And moving on to the uh, front seat in specifically, we've gone from a 10-way seat to a 12-way power adjustable seat, which includes a four-way power adjustable lumbar support. We've got improved ingress and ingress support, and for the first time we have available front seat ventilation. Now when we talk about seat heating, we've actually improved the heating by having three settings and faster heat up. And on the rears, we've actually added heating elements to the seat backs to go along with the ones that are already in the seat bottoms. Now we've got a new interface that you guys will see, and we've got a couple of different ways of sending information to you. We've got a new 7-inch TFT monitor in the meter. We've got a new display audio system with an 8-inch screen, and we've got a new heads-up display. All of this to give you the new information you need and not do so at, with creating huge distractions. It's meant to be easy and uh, convenient. Looking at the meter specifically, this is something you can customize and you can toggle through it with the thumb wheel that you'll see on the steering wheel. You can have your navigation information, your phone information, audio, etc. And you guys will have a chance to go through the screens and play with that. When it comes to the display audio system, a lot of you are familiar with it. This is an evolution of what you've seen on the all new on Odyssey. Uh, we've added an extra knob for tuning and list scrolling, and we've added hard buttons for some of the more frequently used functions. And the interface you guys may already be familiar with because it's similar to the one that's in the Odyssey. On the head-up display, it's very similar in terms of the fact that you can customize what you want to see. You can see speed, you can have your tap display, turn-by-turn uh, -turn directions. If you have a hybrid, look at the state of the power charge. Another couple of new features, you guys are probably aware that we've got wireless device charging. We've had that before. This is very convenient. It keeps the car very clean and clutter-free of wires. We just put it in there. We use the cheap protocol when it comes to that. Now, new for a core this year is we've got NFC Bluetooth pairing. And what that does is you turn on the NFC function on your phone, on your Android. Uh, iPhone should be getting that soon enough. And basically, you just tap the logo on the dash and it pairs your phone. There's no fumbling through screens and trying to search and find out where you can get that done. It's very simple and very intuitive. Along with that, we've got our next generation Honda Link. Uh, basically, you can pair up your phone in the system and you can do things like start your car from your phone, uh, check the security on it, it can give you notifications like a geofence alarm, and it can also uh, provide you with a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot.